simple life is when I am in your hands. It really hurts and painful deep inside when no one cares and no one understands. Suddenly, Lord, you came along. You took my hand and then you made me strong. You gave me hope to live my life. You saved me. You saved me from the Bagay, mga kapatid, talagi po natin naalala ang pagliligtas po ng Panginoon sa atin. Sa katunayan, hindi lamang po ang ating soul ang nililigtas ng Panginoon, kundi hanggang ngayon ay nililigtas po tayo. Nililigtas po tayo sa ating mga physical, sa ating mga emotional problems, hanggang financial po. Hawak-hawak po na yan. Dahil po siya ang Diyos ng kaligtasan. Walang iba po.
sa isang tao na tinawag ng ating pang, kahit na saan ang gawain ng Diyos, kahit na saan nakalista ang pangalan niya, pupunta at pupunta yan. Every time you hear about the gospel of salvation, ibig sabihin nung kinakausap ka ng ating Lord at binibigang ka ng chance ng ating Lord para mahaligtas ka. Once na may nag-offense sa'yo, pinatawad mo without demanding justice, I guarantee you, you will be exalted by our Lord Jesus Christ. If we proudly think that we are righteous and not a sinner, then we are pathetic before God. But when we humbly accept that we are a sinner, tayo po'y mga makasalanan, then we become impressive in the eyes of God. po ang ating Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa araw na to na tayo po ay uh, nagkatipong muli upang ika nga ay sama-sama nating handugan ng ating Diyos. At magandang araw din po sa inyong lahat at sa mga kapatiran natin na sa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao at sa mga international extension churches natin. Ngayon po, marami rin po sa atin na nakatune in Magandang araw din po sa inyong lahat. Lahat po ay makikisang magandog sa ating Diyos na buhay para po sa pagsamba, pasasalamat, at sa pakikinig sa Kanyang dakilang kalooban. Welcome po sa Friends Again and Jesus Christ. To God be the glory. Praise God, oh praise God. Pwede bang sabihin mo sa katabi mong Good morning, sister. Good morning, brother. Yes, matagal mo na ang katabihan pero hindi mo pa siya nababate, di ba? So, paiba-iba kasi tayo ng mga katabi. Alright, meron po tayong opening verse. Psalms 34, 1-3 I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt His name together. Purihin po ang ating Diyos para po sa isang niligtas ng Panginoon. Napaka-importante sa Kanya ang pagpupuri sa ating Diyos. At ang sabi sa pagpupuri ko, sa pagpupuri ninyo, ang mga mapagkumbaba ay mga kaunawa kung ano ang ginagawa natin. Kaya, praise the Lord. Iyuko po natin ating mga ulo. Let us pray. Dakila nga maraming salamat po sa inyo, Lord. You're so great. You're so powerful, Lord. Hinihiling po namin, Lord God, na ibaba mo yung banal na presensya sa amin lahat, Lord, sa plano namin na kayo po ay aming lugurin. Pagpalaan mo, Lord, ang iyong mga anak at ipatawad mo ang lahat ng mga pagkukulang, mga kahinaan, Lord, na nagawa namin sa inyong harapan. Hinataas po namin namin, beloved Bishop, Lord, tulungan mo po siya sa kanyang pagsasalita. Kayo ang siya manguna sa kanya. Kayo ang siya mangusap sa kanya. Inaasahan po namin, Lord God, na sa umaga na to, kayo po ay malulugod sa aming handog sa inyo. Sa iyo po lahat ng kapurihan. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, Amen.
continue praising the Lord, church. Patuloy po tayo magpuri sa ating Panginoon from deep within our souls and deep within our hearts. Hallelujah! Jesus, you are the one I live for. Jesus 
because he has given us the greatest, the greatest love of all. Amen. And let's worship. And we love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord.
Okay, in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 20, beginning from verses 1 to 4. Now, it happened after this that the people of Moab, with the people of Ammon, and others with them besides the Ammonites, came to battle against Jehoshaphat. And then some came and told Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea, from Syria, and they are in Hazazon and Tamar, which is in Gedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. So Judah gathered together to ask help from the Lord and from all the cities of Judah that they came to seek the Lord. Okay, shall we bow our heads please? Lord God in heaven, once again we come before your presence of God with our hearts filled with thanksgiving for your goodness and faithfulness in our lives. Lord, we have come and gathered to this place to once again listen to your word, study your word, Lord. That's why, Lord, please open our hearts, minds, understanding that we may be able, Lord, to comprehend your word. And please, Lord, anoint your servant that I may preach your word according to your will. And please, Lord, let your healing power flow upon us, O oh Lord, and please heal those who are sick and help those who are in need. Thank you, Lord, and this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. And our subject today is entitled, Believe in the Lord, Believe His Prophets, and You Will Prosper. You may all be seated. In Second Chronicles 20, verse 1, the scripture says, it happened after this that the people of Moab with the people of Ammon and others with them besides the Ammonites came to battle against Jehoshaphat. So in other words, the people of Moab with the people of Ammon and other countries formed an alliance to fight against King Jehoshaphat of Judah. Now, ingat po tayo, the salitang alliance or allies. It might be bad, or it might be good. Pag nagkaroon ng alliance, hindi lahat po ay ayos. Yung iba po hindi ayos. So, in fact, mga kapatid, ay naalala ko po sa ngayon, like Hezbollah, Hamas, and Houthis, which are allied groups of Iran. At alam natin na nangyari po, sa ngayon po ay nagkigera sila because of that word, alliance. At alam ko, ang, uh, ang uh, Israel po, meron ding allied country po, na walang iba kundi ang USA and NATO. Pag yan, nagsama-sama po lahat yan, alam na natin kung ano ang mangyayari po. And I remember during the rebellion of Satan or Lucifer against God, meron ding iba mga allied angels si Satan, which is called uh, the demon spirits. Yung mga fallen angels po na demon spirits ang tawag po. Yun ang kanya mga ka-allies po niya nang siya po ay mag po. Basta't may rebellion, may mga, may mga kaalyado po yan, sigurado yun. Likewise, rebellion against the church. Kumukuha ng mga allies sila, kumukuha ng kaalyado para marami sila. Now, going back to our story, our result to Jehoshaphat in verse 3 and 4 says, And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed. He proclaimed a fast, a fast and prayer, of course, throughout all Judah. And in verse 4, so Judah gathered together to ask help from the Lord and from all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. So, iisa ang kilo sila. One accord po sila. They sought the Lord first through fasting and praying. At yung pong pinaka best. In other words, Jehoshaphat was in his presence of mind. Kahit natakot siya na sa presence of mind, so he declared a fasting and praying. Now, the contents of Jehoshaphat's prayer is in the book of 2 Chronicles verse 5 and 11. Enumerate ko sa inyo. First, he said, How nobody could withstand against the power of God. Wala raw makakatagal sa atin, Lord. And second, he said, sa kanyang prayer, How God gave the land of promise to Abraham. Yun din pinaalala niya sa Lord. And how God helped them in any kind of trouble. And of course, next, that Israel has no power. Has no power against their enemies. Yun ang sabi po ni Jehoshaphat. And lastly, that their eyes are upon the Lord. Yung mata namin, Lord, ay nasa iyo. In other words, they were expecting and waiting something good from God. 
At yun pirmi sa atin po. Every time magkakaroon po tayo ng any kind of problem or troubles in life, dun po ang tingin. Sa taas ang tingin and expect something good from God. And surely God will answer you. Basta't nando doon yung nag-expect ka at saka nag-hope ka na meron darating at oh, may sasabihin ng Lord o may answer ng Lord, check na merong answer po ang ating Diyos na buhay. Now, the answer of God in verse 14 to 17. The prophet says, Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel and the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jael. Now, the son of Mataniah, a Levite, of the son of Asaph in the midst of the assembly. And he said, Listen, Sabi ng prophet, Listen, all you of Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, you, you King Jehoshaphat, kasama ka, King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord. Pag nagsabi po ng, thus says the Lord, or thus saith the Lord, ibig sabihin no, you messenger, he stand or he stood as a prophet. Prophet po yan, whether he, he is a pastor, he is a messenger of God, he is an evangelist, ang tayo po niya, pag sinabing, thus saith the Lord, prophet po, ang tayo niya. Wala sa kanyang office of the prophet, and yet, tumatayo siyang prophet pag sinabi mo, thus saith the Lord. And then, do not be afraid. First message, do not be afraid, nor dismayed. Wag kayong matakot, wag kayong madismaya sa dami ng mga kalaban for this great multitude. For the battle is not yours. The battle is not yours, but God's. Ang battle daw, hindi sa inyo, kundi sa Diyos ang battle po. As a matter of fact, lahat ng battle natin, hindi sa atin, sa Lord ang battle po natin. Kanya nagtataka ang Lord, matatatakot kayo, hindi mas atin ang battle. Sa Kanya ang battle. Ang panlaban lang natin is faith, 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 no less, no more, faith. Tomorrow, go down against them. They will surely come up by the ascent of Ziz and you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jeruel. Now, you will not need to fight. You don't need to fight. In this battle, position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. See the salvation of the Lord who is with you. God is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear. Do not be dismayed. Whether you are sick, do not fear. You need money, you don't have money, do not fear. You are the Lord, and do not be dismayed. Wag ka raw madidismaya. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. According to the Bible, the prophet said to Jehoshaphat, the Lord is with you. But thus saith the Lord, the Lord is in you. The result, and when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord, who should praise beauty of holiness. And as they went out, take note, pagkatapos sinabi yung good message, as sumunod, nag-praising sila. Went out before the army and were saying, praise the Lord for His mercy endures forever. And now when they began to sing and to praise, when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambush against the people of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir and had come against Judah and they were defeated. Talo ang kalaban. Next. For the people of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir to utterly kill and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, they had to destroy one another. Sila, sila, nagpadayan. So when Judah came to a place overlooking the wilderness, they looked toward the multitude and there were their dead bodies. There were their dead bodies of the enemies. Their bodies of their enemies falling on the earth and no one had escaped. Walang nakatakas kahit isa. Next. And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away their spoil, 
Pag sinabi yung spoil, medyo plunder yan or ninakaw sa diretsyo salita. They found among them an abundance of valuables on the dead bodies. Ano yung valuables sa'yo? Next. Precious jewelry which they stripped off from themselves. Tinanggal nila yung mga jewelries more than they could carry away. Ang tindin, harus hindi nila madala. And they were three days gathering the spoil. Ginadar nila yung ninakaw nila because there was so much. Actually, ganun talaga po. Pag natalo ka, kukunin lahat. Tune na sa'yo. So, ganun na nangyari sa kala. Nanalo na, may blessing pa. Nanalo na, may blessing pa. But the question is this. Why or how did they win the battle? Paano silang nanalo? At bakit sila nanalo? Well, majority of us will say it's because they praise the Lord with all their might and strength. And yes, I believe that's one of the reasons. That's why many preachers preach. Ako mismo nagpipreach. Nanon sila yung magpraising, nanalo sila. That's one of the reasons, but not the major reason. Of course, now, if that's not the major reason, then what is the major reason and they won that battle? Ano talaga ang pinaka-major reason na nalo sila? Verse 20. And so they arose early in the morning and went out in the wilderness of Tekoa and said they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. Believe his prophets. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. That means... The major reason of their success is that they believe in God by believing His prophets who speak the words from Him. Ibig sabihin nun, do sila naniwala sa propetang pinadala ng Lord, naniwala sila. Hindi dahil sa praising. Naniwala sila, kanya nanalo sila. As a matter of fact, from verse 14 to 17, binasa natin kanina. After they heard the words of the prophets, Yung mga messages ng prophets, good messages of the prophets, in verse 18 and 19, this is what they did. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem bowed before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. Nang marnig nila yung message, the good message, yung good news, narnig nila, they worship the Lord. Nung marnig nila ang good news. Next. And then the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and of the children of the Kohathites stood up to praise the Lord, to praise the Lord God of Israel with voices loud and high. In other words, they worship and praise the Lord. Why? It is a sign or as a sign of believing the prophet's words from God. In other words, Kanya sila nag-praising, hindi para lumaban. Nag-praising sila dahil naniniwala sila do sa prophet ng Lord. That's why in verse 22 says, And now when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, set ambushes against the people of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, and they were defeated. In other words, dito po, Though the Bible says that they were defeated when they began to praise the Lord. But then, in verse 15, the prophet says, The battle is not yours, but God's. And in verse 17, the prophet says, You will no need to fight in this battle. So, hindi talaga sila lalaban po. Ang gagawin lang nila ay magpe-praising sila. In other words, they praised the Lord not to fight against their enemies, but to show God, to show their enemies, and us who will someday somehow read this story, that their praise was a sign that they believe God and His prophets of God. Kanya sila nagpraising po. Not to fight the battle, but to show their belief 
that they believe in God and they believe in the prophet of God. Yung pong reason, kanya sila nag-praising po sa ating Panginoon. However, in Exodus 30 to 31, tignan natin ang difference. Kay Moses ito, Moses. So the Lord saved Israel that day. The Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptian. And Israel saw, they saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Nakita nila, patay lahat yung mga Egyptians kalaban nila. Next. Thus Israel saw, they saw the great work which the Lord had done in Egypt. Nakita nila yung matinding bagay na ginawa ng Diyos sa mga Egyptian. So, kanya, yung mga tao nagkaroon ng takot sa Diyos and believe the Lord and His servant Moses. Ano ba sabihin nun? They believe because they saw. They believe because they saw. Kay Jehoshaphat, hindi pa nakikita and yet, they believe. Naku ko niya yung difference. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and he spoke saying, I will sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. Next verse. Miriam. Then Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took the timbrel in her hand and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dances. And Miriam answered them, Sing to the Lord, for He has... Why? Sing to the Lord. Why? For He has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider has thrown into the sea. Ano ibig no? Listen carefully. That means, Moses praising is a sign of thanksgiving after receiving their victory. Ang praising po ni Moses, nag-praising sila pagkatapos tanggapin ang tagumpay. While Jehoshaphat praising and the people of Judah praised the Lord as a sign of believing God and His prophets before they received their victory. Nandun na ang pagkakaiba. Kay Moses, Nag-praising sila kasi tinanggap ang victory. Kay Jehoshaphat, wala pa yung victory, naniwala na sila, kanya sila nag-praising. There's nothing wrong and it's okay. It's okay to praise God because God has given you victory. Okay for yun. But it is much better if you will praise the Lord and believe Him kahit na hindi pa dumarating ang victory po sa atin. Yun ang maganda po. I praise God because I know you will heal me, Lord. I praise God because I know you're going to perform a miracle for me, Lord. I praise God because I know you will. Puro will. You will prosper me, Lord. I praise God because you will, you will, you will, you will. Lahat, wala pa. Mag-praising ka na sa Lord. Because you believe God. Once you believe God and you believe in His prophet, wala pa yung hinihingi mo, nagpa-praising ka na sa Diyos. Sino may gusto noon? Wala pa hinihingi mo, nagpa-praising ka na. Sino may hinihingi sa Lord? Tasa kamay. Ba't di ka mag-praising? Yan <laughs> sinasabi ko eh. Yung bang praising na gusto lang, Lord? <laughs> Come on, let's praise the Lord. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in the prophet of God? Then praise Him. Praise Him. Come on! Shout out to the Lord! Well, I know all of you here, 
believe in the prophet of God. Pag sinabi ang prophet, as what I told you a while ago, pag ang preacher po, once ang some preacher tumayo, at sinabi, thus said the Lord, he stand as a prophet of God. I just want to make it clear to all of you, and even to all of you who are watching by the television, I am not a prophet. I am not a prophet. A pastor, yes. Bishop, yes. Evangelist, yes. Teacher, yes. But not a prophet because I don't have the office of a prophet. But then, every time I said, thus say the Lord, I stand as the prophet of God. Not only me, even other preachers. Pag tumayo yung nagsabi, Thus said the Lord, at yung preacher na nasa truth, yung po, prophet siya. Tumatayo siya bilang prophet. And once you believe in the prophet of God, or pastor, or teacher, you will prosper. You will prosper. Now, I know and I'm sure all of you believe what I am saying or preaching which come from the Word of God. But the question is, alam ko, pag sinasabi ko, galing sa, sa Word of God, naniniwala kayo. But the question is this, why is it some of you prosper but most of you do not prosper? And yet you said that you believe in the prophet of God. Bakit nagkaganon? Lord, naniniwala naman ako. Maniwala ako kay Bishop, niwala ako kay Pastor. Hey, Pastor Lord, niniwala ako. Pero bakit ako? Hindi pinagpapala. Why? Yes, you believe in what I preach from the Word of God. But the question is this. What do you believe from the Word of God that I always preach? What do you believe? Ano yung pinaniniwalaan mo doon sa Word of God na pinipreach ko sa inyo every Sunday? Healing? Oh yes, I believe. Miracle? Yes! Nagtayo ang pakay kanina eh. Prosperity? Yes! Love, joy, peace? Yes, I believe. Pastors, I believe you. Uh, Bishop, I believe you. Prophet, I believe you. God is faithful. God is good. God is understanding. I believe. I believe. And many attributes of God, yes, I believe. I truly believe. Pero pag nag-preach na ako, huwag kayong late. Ayan. Bakit marami pa rin ang late? Because you do not fully believe in the prophet of God. Pag sinasabi ko, don't be full of pride, Mataas masyado ang pride mo. Baba ka, humble down ka. You don't like mataas pa din ang pride mo. Why? You do not fully believe in the prophet of God. Pag sinabing, ang sama na ugali mo, dapat baguhin mo yan. Ay, asar ka pa. Pag sinasabi ka nun, hindi, tama ako. Why? Because you do not believe, fully believe in the prophet of God. Pag sinabi ko, humingi ka ng counsel, ayaw pa rin. Sariling discarte pa rin. Why? Because you do not fully believe in the prophet of God. Basta pagdating sa pagbabago na ugali, pagbabago ng asal, pagbabago ng salita, sariling discarte, pamamaraan, you refuse to believe. You refuse to obey. Why? You do not fully believe in the prophet of God. Yan ang masakit. Yung iba, nagpipreach pa lang ako, lumalaban na yung kalooban. Lumalaban na yung isip. Lumalaban na, pati bibig, nangangatwiran, during my preaching. Dahil nasasaktan siya, natitisod siya. Yan ang problema. Why? Because you don't fully believe in the prophet of God. Hindi ka naniniwala. Delikado yan. You know why? That is very dangerous. You know why? 2 Timothy 4, 2 to 4 says, Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, exhort 
with all long suffering and teaching. Why? Why, Paul? For the time will come, and the time has come, when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, and they will heap up themselves teachers. Kukuha na sariling teachers. Sino teachers nila? Madalas AI. Now, and they will turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. Sa Tagalog, ipangaral mo salita ng Diyos, pagsikapan mong gawin yan, napapanahon man o hindi, sa patay man, sa burul man, sa birthday man, sa kasal man, ipangaral mo, himukin mo at pagsabihan ng mga tao at palakasin ang kanilang loob sa pamagitan ng matyagang pagtuturo. Why? Sabagat darating ang panahon, darating ang panahong hindi na sila makikinig ng wastong katuroan. Ayaw na ng wastong katuroan. Ang gusto yung gusto nila. Pag yung babaguhin sila, ayaw. Ang gusto sila magbabago doon sa tao. Yun ang gusto nila. Baligtad. At sa halip susundin nila ang kanilang hilig, maghahanap sila ng mga tagapagturo na walang ituturo kundi ang ibig lamang nilang marinig. Yan ang uso ngayon. Pumupunta sa church ang gustong marinig, yung gusto lang nilang marinig. Naniniwala ba kayo? Kadalasan sa gusto nyo marinig, yun na hindi mo kailangan. At kadalasan sa ayaw mong marinig, yun ang kailangan mo. Hindi na sila manakikinig sa katotohanan. Sa halip ay babaling ang kanilang mga pansin sa mga alamat o yung mga buladas ng mga preachers. Meaning, in the last days, many will become false believers. Kung meron sinasabi, many false prophets will arise in the last days, marami rin false believers na mag arise sa last days. Marami po. Sino yung false believers? Yun po. Yung mga gusto lang marinig, yung gusto nilang pakinggan. Pagka kinokorek na, ayaw na po nila. You are a false believers. Kasi ang true believers, kahit anong pakinggan mo, mas gusto mo pag tinutuwid ka. Mas gusto mo pag binabago ka. Mas gusto mo pag, ina, pag inaayos ang buhay mo. Mas gusto mo because you are a true believers of Christ. Alam nyo marami may gusto ng Jeremiah 29.11 NIV. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you. Gusto natin. To give you hope. Gusto natin. To give you future. Gusto natin. Eh ito. Not to harm you. Bakit pumasok dito yun? Not to harm you. Yan ang tanong ngayon. You know why? Dito po, kasalukoyang captives ang mga Israelites pa. You know why? Because of disobedience. Kasi ayaw nila makinig sa prophet ng ating Lord. Kaya pinayaga sila maging captive. Kaya nasasaktan sila. In other words, dumarating din sa atin yung mga harmful situation because we refuse to believe the prophet of God that brings the words of change. Yun ang ayaw natin. The words of change, ayaw po natin. But, you cannot escape from change. You cannot escape from change or changes. You cannot escape. Why? 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, lahat na na kay Kristo magsabing praise the Lord. So, kasama ka dyan. You are a new creation! Bago ka nang nilalang. Kung bago ka, all things have passed away. Dapat yung mga lumang ugali mo, wala na dapat. Wala na nag-amen. Behold! All things have become new. New behavior, new conduct, new attitude, new, new system, pati new concept. Bago na lahat sa ating po dapat. Hindi man tayo na bago, unti-unti binabago tayo ng Lord. But you refuse to be changed. Ayaw mo. Yan ang problem. Every preaching, you're being molded by God. Minumold ka para ma-change ka may ge, nakatulad niya. But you refuse to change. Yan ang problem. Why? Because you do not fully believe the prophet 
of God. Akala mo si Louis Boy lang ang nagsasalita sa iyo. Hindi mo alam bibig lang ang ginagamit sa akin. Si Jesus na ang nagsasalita sa iyo. And the consequences of refusing to change. Ano magiging consequence mo pag ikaw ay hindi naniwala? 2 Kings 8 to 16. They were allowed to be held captive by King Nebuchadnezzar. Ito po ang ito ang Israel. Pinabayaan silang gabusin po o bihagin po sa Babylonia po ni King Nebuchadnezzar. Why? And it's because of rebellion and idolatry to Baal. Kasi panay na sabi ng prophet sa kanila, magbago na kayo, sumunod na kayo, wag kayo sumamba dyan, wag na, wag na, wag na. They did not believe the prophet of God. Ayaw nila, sige pa rin, samba pa rin sila, diretso pa rin sila. Kumbaga sa late, sige, late pa rin, late pa rin, late pa rin. Why? Because they don't believe or they didn't believe in the prophet of God. Yes! The Israelites believed the prophets about the wonders of God, the miracles of God, the healing of God, faithfulness and powers of God. They believed. Pero pagdating sa sinabi ng prophet, you have to change. Magbago ka na. Huwag ka na magkumit ng idolatry. Huwag na, huwag na, huwag na, huwag na. They disobeyed. Why? They did not fully believe in the prophet of God. As a result, they were all captive in Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar. And, listen carefully, who knows? Maybe the reason why some of us are held captive by finances. Captive sa severe sickness. Captive ng emotional suffering. Captive ng ano pang crushing problem for refusing to change being told by the prophet or messenger of God. Why? Because you don't fully believe in the prophet of God. Hindi ka lubusang naniniwala. I'll give you an example kung ano mangyayari din. It's about prosperity. Although ito hindi related doon sa, sa second uh, Chronicles 20, i-relate po natin. Haggai 1, 4 to 5. Is it time for yourselves to dwell in your paneled house and this temple to lie in ruins? Now therefore, Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Kapag yun si Haggai as a prophet. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Consider your ways. Consider your ways. Consider your lifestyle. Tingnan ninyo. Ang gaganda ng bahay nyo pero ginawa nyo sa templo. Ito po, ang context ito, they were talking about the temple of God who was in ruin. Wasak ang temple ng God. Maganda bahay nila. Yun talaga pinaka-context po dito. Kailan nire-relate natin po sa ating uh, istorya. Now, sa Hagay 1, 6, 7, ito ngayon ang nag-resulta. You have so much and bring in little. You eat but do not have enough. You drink but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourselves but no one is warm. And he who earns wages, earns wages to put into a bag with holes. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. Sa atin po, consider your, kasi pinag-uusapan dito, finances eh. Consider your finances. Kumikita, pero parang hindi. Kumikita na marami, pero kulang pa rin. Merong hindi talaga kumikita. Na parang hindi talaga kumikita. Why? Consider your belief in the prophet of the Lord. Consider mo. Baka ang pinaniniwalaan mo lang sa mga sinasabi ko is about healing, about power, about miracle, prosperity, joy, peace ng Lord. Baka yun lang. Pero pagdating sa dapat baguhin sa atin, bi, ano tayo, bingi tayo, hindi natin matanggap, nagre-resist ang heart and mind natin because you do not totally believe or fully believe when the prophet brings the words of change. Yun ang ayaw natin, yung word of change. Yung salita ng pagbabago, ayaw po natin. Mas ang gusto natin, puro pakabig tayo, pero yung gagawin sa sarili natin, may babagoy sa atin, oh, we refuse. And we rejected the, the message of the prophet of God. A result. Ano result sa atin? Hindi maganda po para sa atin na nagiging result. And that's the reason why, who knows, and maybe, that's the reason why marami sa atin po, kanya-ganyan, ang nangyayari sa ating buhay po. 
may pinababagong Lord sa'yo, ayaw mong baguhin. May nagsasabi na sa'yo, ayaw mong baguhin. Lalo na, pag yung mismo nakatayo dito, nagsasabi sa'yo, ay, makinig ka na. Dahil ibig sabihin noon, siya na ang nangungusap sa'yo. Kanya, wala kang gagawin, kundi obey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Kailangan niya mga yes man and yes and yes woman. Yun ang kailangan ng ating Lord. Yes, Lord. Yan tanong ngayon, paano tayo makikinig? How to listen to the Word of God? How to listen to the prophet of God? 1 Thessalonians 2.13 For this reason, we also thank God without ceasing. Why? Why, Paul? Because when you receive the Word of God, which you heard, pag tinanggap ninyo ang salita ng Diyos na napakinggan ninyo mula sa amin, from us, pag napakinggan ang salita ng Diyos mula sa amin, you will, ano sinabi? You will come. Welcome, Word of God. Welcome, God. Welcome, Prophet. We may welcome ang salita ng Lord. Pag tumanggap sila ng Word of God, we may welcome nila. Welcome. You welcome it not as the Word of men, but as it is in truth, the Word of God. Sa ating kasi, prosperity, welcome the Word of God, the truth, welcome, prosperity, change. Oh. Welcome, Bishop. Welcome, Pastor. Hindi, hindi si Pastor. Word of God po ang sinasabi sa inyo. At hindi natin ma-welcome talaga yung Word of God dahil sa iniisip po, si Pastor lang ang nakatayo doon. Kaya hindi natin ma-welcome. You welcome. Imagine. You welcome the Word of God. It not as the Word of men, but as it is the truth. It is the truth. The Word of the living God. Sana ganun tayo makinig. At tulad kayo nakikinig kayo ngayon. Huwag ako tingnan nyo. Ang tingnan nyo yung sinasabi ko. Ang pakinggan nyo yung sinasabi ko. Na hindi sa akin ito. Sa Diyos na galing ito. Kung sa akin lang hindi ko alam kung anong buhay ninyo. Ang Diyos alam ang buhay mo. Kanya alam kung anong ituturo sa'yo. Alam kung anong babaguhin sa'yo. Nang Diyos, hindi ako. Ang Diyos. Which, eto result. Also, effectively works in you. Nagkakaroon ng epekto sa'yo ang salita ng Diyos pag naniniwala ka sa Diyos at sa propeta ng Diyos. Effective ang Word of God. In other words, once you do the believe in the power of God, ang Word of God ay hindi po effective, ineffective, and it does not work sa atin po. Hindi po tumatrabaho. Parang why effect ang Word of God sa atin? Why effect? Walang effect. There's no effect. Ang Word of God, there is no effect. Why? You did not welcome it as the truth and as the Word of God. Hindi mo siya winelcome mga ganoon. Winelcome mo as the Word of man. Yan ang problem. Kaya minsan nagagalit ka pa sa tao na katayo. Then when you welcome mo, akala mo siya. Siya ang nagsasabi. Hindi siya. Pinasasabi lang sa kanya nung nandun sa taas para sabihin sa atin lahat kung ano ang kalooban niya. Maraming ganyan. Meaning, when listening to the prophet of God, first, consider the prophet Consider the pastor as a divine messenger of God. Yun dapat ituring natin, yun tumatawag. Messenger of God. Divine messenger of God. Sa Diyos galing talaga. So that you can give your divine hearing. Para maibigay mo. Hindi pwede ba sa hearing? Divine hearing. Maka-Diyos na pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. Ibig sabihin, yung full attention mo ay nando doon po. 
pag divine hearing ang ginagawa po natin. No distraction. Talagang totally attentive ka, 100%, because nasa iyo yung divine hearing. And consider what you hear as a divine message. Puro divine yan. Kanya, pag ikaw divine makinig, divine yung nakatayo, divine din ang message na pinakikinggan mo. Yun din ang turing mo. Divine message po. Which convicts because you feel that it comes from God. Nakukonvict ka kasi alam mo, galing sa Lord yan. Hindi kay pastor yan. Sa Lord galing yan. Ganun ang nangyayar sa atin. Which then produces divine belief in His Word. Yung po ang suma niyan. Paniniwala sa sinasabi po ng ating Diyos na buhay. So when you apply it to yourself, it gives you hope to expect the best from God. Why? May kay ka na, may karapatan ka ng umasa. Why? Because you truly believe every word that the prophet of God says from the word of God. Naniniwala ka kasi. It will produce a divine result ang mayayari. Pagkatapos ang lahat ng divine na yan, divine hearing, and divine message, divine messenger, ang kasunod doon, divine result. Ano yung divine result? The Word of God working in you becomes effective and gives the best results for you. Like the Church of God. Ibig sabihin, pag ano kayo makinig, yung pakikinig mo ng Word of God, yung pinakikinga mo rito, pag sinabi rito, be-bless ka, i-be-bless ka, magkakatotoo. Pag sinabing gagaling ka, magkakatotoo. Pag sinabing miracle, magkakatotoo. Pag sinabing mababago ka, magkakatotoo. Lahat ng pinaniwalaan mo, magkakatotoo. Kasi yung Spirit and Lord, makakakili sa'yo. Kasi nag-yield ka sa divine presence of God, sa divine word of God, nag-yield po tayo. Kaya maganda ang resulta sa ating pagkaganon. Everybody shout, praise the Lord. Kaya huwag niyo sayangin yung belief niyo. Huwag niyo huwag niyo kalahati. Huwag niyo huwag niyo partial belief. Totally belief. Fully believe. Talaga you fully believe in the messenger of God or in the word of God that comes from the mouth of His messenger. Kailangan po maniwala tayo may higit. Makikita niyo resort. Kung paano kumilos ang God sa atin, paano kumilos ang Lord sa atin, yung lahat ng mga na-expect natin, mga healing na yan, miracle na yan, yung prosperity na yan, it's coming your way. Oh yeah. Because you fully believe. Maniwala ka talaga. As a matter of fact, Ang Lord nagsabi, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Ikaw sinasabi mo, it's hard for me, it's hard for me. Yes, for you, but not for God. For you it is hard, but for God it is not. It is just easy for God. Anything you need na difficult para sa'yo, difficult sa'yo. Pero sa Lord is easy sa Lord. The Lord. There's nothing impossible with God to those who believe. Come on, let's clap our hands to God. Now, it's time to praise the Lord because you believe. Glory to God. Come on, let's clap our hands to God and praise the Lord. Naniniwala ba kayo sa mga salitang sinabi kong galing sa Diyos sa umagang ito? Do you really believe? Do you really believe? Then praise Him! Woo!
Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating Panginoon sa napakagandang mensahe. Tunay nga po na napaka-importante po na tumatag po ang ating pong paniniwala sa ating Panginoon. Amen po ba mga kapatid? So ngayon po napakinggan po natin kung paano po nagtagumpay sila Jehoshaphat because of believing in God and to His prophets who spoke the words sa pamamaginan po niya. So bilang mga Kristiyano, mga kapatid, we should not be dismayed kahit gaano po kabigat ang pinagdaraanan po natin na tila baga na nandun ka sa dead end, wala ka ng pag-asa, do not lose hope because the Lord is in us. Yan po ang tatandaan po nating lahat, ganyan din sa ating po mga bisita. And moreover, kailangan din po natin maniwala sa mga propeta ng Diyos, katulad po ng ating po mga pastor who bring the words of change. Hindi po tayo dapat resistant pagdating po sa pagbabago, mga kapatid. So we have to consider our ways and consider your belief in the prophet of the Lord that He is the divine messenger of God na katulad na napakinggan po natin. So ibigay po natin yung ating pong divine hearing at i-consider natin na ating pong narinig ay divine message po ng ating Panginoon na sa gayon po tayo po mag-produce po ng divine na paniniwala sa salita po niya upang magkaroon po ng divine result. So meanwhile, sa ating po mga bisita naman na nandito sa mga first time guests, ganyan din po sa mga first time viewers po natin, napakapalad po ninyo dahil napakinggan po ninyo ang divine na mensahe ng ating Panginoon. At upang magkaroon po tayo ng divine result, ay inyo pong narinig, sa inyo pong mga buhay, all you have to do is to accept Jesus Christ in your life as your personal Savior, and by believing in His gospel for you to be saved. Now, pag sinabi ito ating salvation, so please listen to me sa lahat po ng mga first time na visitors, ganyan din sa first time viewers, ang sabi sa Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8, For by grace you have been saved through faith. Malina po na sinabi ng talata that we are saved by grace through faith. Kaya lang po ang tanong, saan tayo mananampalataya at maniniwala? That is the question. Now, it is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 to 4. It is about the death of Christ, the burial of Jesus Christ, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So tatlo po yan na kailangan po natin sampalatayanan at paniwalaan yung pong death, burial, and resurrection ng ating Panginoon na ayon po sa 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Kaya alam po ang tanong, is believing enough? Pag tayo po ba'y naniwala dito sa tatlong bagay na ito, ay tapos na, wala na tayong gagawin, tutuldok or hihinto na po tayo dun. Ang sabi po sa 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, sa bandang baba ng talata, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Ano daw ang katatapusan? Ano daw ang dulo doon sa hindi sumunod sa gospel ng ating Panginoon? So sa madalit sabi, the gospel of Christ must be obeyed. Pag tayo nanampalataya, tayo naniwala, kailangan lakipan po natin ang pagsunod. Hindi po tayo matatapos sa pananampalataya. But rather, we need to obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. Kaya lang po, the question is, how will you obey? It is found in the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 38. So, una-una, tayo po'y magre-repent, tayo po'y hihingi ng tao sa ating Panginoon. We're going to ask for forgiveness, we're going to confess our sins, at naniniwala po ako, kahit pakiramdam mo, ang dami mong kapalpakan, ang dami mong mali na nagawa sa Panginoon, mabigat ang nagawa mong kasalanan. Believe me, for as long as nandun po yung genuine repentance sa ating po mga puso, dahil yan po ang tinitingnan ng ating Panginoon, yung ating pong taos puso na pagsisisi. Believe me, the Lord is willing and able to forgive your sins, at dyan din po papasok yung pong death to sin. So, yan po yung unang step. We need to repent. Second, we need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So, tayo naman po i-babautismo sa tubig. Ilulubog po tayo sa tubig in the name of Jesus Christ po yan. At ang sabi po sa Romans chapter 6 verse 4, Therefore, we were buried with Him through baptism into death. Ulitin ko, we were buried with Him through baptism into death that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. So, sa madalit sabi, we need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Dahil para bagang inililibing naman po natin ang ating po mga kasalanan kasabay naman po ng paglilibing kay Kristo. Take note, hindi po ito paghuhugas ng dumi ng katawan, kundi ito po yung pag-aalis po ng ating po mga kasalanan. So yun po yung pangalawang step, we need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Now the third step is we need to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Diyan naman po papasok ang ating transformation. 
ating pong regeneration. So sa madalit sabi, tayo mababago na po, narabanggit po sa Romans 8, 11, hindi po sa Titus chapter 3, verse 5. In fact, once we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, we are also receiving power, power saan? Aminin nyo man hindi sa lahat ng mga bisita na nandito sa mga first time viewers natin, ang hirap magbago pag sa ating sarili. Kung minsan nagbabago tayo isa, dalawang buwan, sa susunod na panahon, bumabalik po tayo sa dati. Bakit? Sarili mo lang eh. But you know what? Once you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, yan po yung tutulong po sa atin para mapagtagumpayan yung lahat ng ating po mga kahinaan. Kasi lahat tayo may kahinaan eh. Pinipilit natin baguhin. Kaya lang talagang pabalik-balik. Bakit? Sarili mo lang. Pero pag nasa yung kaloob ng Spiritu Santo, yan po yung tutulong po sa atin to overcome all our weaknesses. At yan din po ang magpapaalala po sa atin para makasunod po sa kalooban ng ating Panginoon. So take note, ito po tatlong bagay na ito. Kailangan maganap po sa atin po mga buhay. First, we need to repent. Second, we need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And third, we need to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that is what we call the good news. And that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. So at this moment, sa lahat ng mga bisita na nandito, pwede po ba na itaas natin ang ating dalawang kamay bilang tanda ng pagsuko sa ating Panginoon? Yuko natin ang ating mga ulo. Gayun din po yung lahat ng mga first time viewers po natin. Pakitaas ang dalawang kamay. So please repeat after me. Panginoong Jesus, lumalapit po ako sa iyo. Bilang isang makasalanan, patawarin mo po ako sa lahat ng aking mga pagkakamali at pagkukulang sa oras na ito. Tinatanggap po kita bilang sariling tagapagligtas at tinatanggap po kita bilang Diyos ng aking buhay. Naniniwala po ako na ikaw ay namatay, ikaw ay nilibing at sa ikatlong araw, ay nabuhay na magmuli. Tulungan mo po ako makapagsimula ng bagong buhay at idagdag po po ako sa iyong kaharian. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yan po yung first step para sa pangalawang step po. Sa kanan po ninyo, yung pong orange flag sa kanan ninyo, pwede po ba nagsumundod lang po kayo sa kanila? Sige po. Huwag po kayong magalala, wala pong bahay dyan. So please lang po, sunod lang po kayo. While sa ating po mga first time viewers naman po, andyan po yung ating po mga telephone numbers sa baba po ng mga screens po ninyo. Pwede po kayong tumawag dyan para makapagpa-schedule po tayo ng water baptism or ang ating pong FB page lang dyan. Mag-message lang kayo para masagot na namin to give you further instructions. So meanwhile, here's our beloved Pastor Norma for the additional message and benediction. So once again, God bless every one of you and to God be all the glory. Amen. Praise God. What a wonderful message about the message of salvation. Uh, tayo po ngayon na idadako sa offertory. Magbasa po muna tayo ng ilang talata sa Biblia. Genesis 28, 18-22. Then Jacob rose early in the morning and took the stone that he had put at his head, set it up as a pillar, and poured oil on top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of that city had been loose previously. 20, then Jacob made a vow saying, If God will be with me and keep me in this way that I'm going and give me bread to eat and clothing to put on so that I come back to my father's house in peace, then the Lord shall be my God. And 22, and this stone sweets I have set as a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that you give me, I will surely give a tent to you. Purihin po ang Panginoon. Siguro po marami po sa atin na kung saan nag-start po ang pagkakilala natin sa buhay na walang-wala tayo. Katulad ni Jacob. Walang-wala na may problema pa. Tumatakbo pa. Takot na takot. But then, ano po ang nangyari? Nagpaalala po ang Lord sa kanya. Nagpa-ramdam sa kanya sa panaginip. So, dito po sa ating binasa, nakapangako po si Jacob na kung ako ay pagpapalaan mo, kung ako'y papakainin mo, kung ako'y padadamitan mo, whatever you give me, I'll give you a tenth of it. Kaya po yan, sa kanya po nang galing din yan, sa mga Kristiyano po, sinusunod po nila yung pagbibigay ng tithe sa ating Panginoon. Pero noon, wala pa pong Kristong ibinigay na ipinako sa Cruz. Sa ngayon, hanggang tithes lang pa binibigay natin kay Lord, di ba? buhay nga natin, ibibigay natin kay Lord. So magbigay po tayo ng masaya, may paniniwala sa salita ng Diyos at pag-ibig po sa Kanya. Meanwhile, for complete details of our online giving, please refer to the ways and means to give jump po sa ating ABP.
Maraming salamat din po sa mga kapatirang walang sawang sumusuporta sa ating mga gawain. Meanwhile, may I call Pastor Rest Leslie for other important announcements. Para po sa ating pong announcement, mga kapatid, ah, panadalian lamang po tayo nga ah, pinakikiusapan to stay. Meron lamang po tayong short birthday program para po sa ating, of course, pinakamamahal po ng pastor at pinakamamahal na nagangasiwa po sa atin ating mahal na bishop and pastor Norma. Kaya wait lang po tayo. Lahat po ng businessmen and professionals inviting you to the upcoming ABC Refill on October 23, Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. at the Oriental Palace, Tomas Morato. Reg fee po natin ay 850 pesos per head. So, at ABC on the 23rd. Get ready for our 39th anniversary praise and worship celebration entitled, I Saw One. On November 11, Monday, 5 p.m. at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Malapit na po tayo mga kapatid, maglabas ng ticket. So please grab your ticket and do not ever lose your ticket. Dahil hindi po tayo makapasok pag wala po yung Araneta ticket. First batch! Ayan, excited tayo dito. First batch of anniversary merch are now available! Ito po ang mga available po. Number one po ang mga hoodie. Ayan, sino po yung mahilig sa hoodie dito? Available po ang colors gray, green, navy blue, cream for 1,200 pesos in sizes as large, XL, and double XL. Brown for 1,000 pesos lang po, free size naman yan. May tote bag din po tayo na nakalagay din po yung church name natin for 250 pesos and meron tayong wristband. But the wristband is, ito yung kakaiba, sumasayaw po yung wristband. No, I mean, sensitive siya sa tunog. Kaya on the night of November 11, huwag niyo po siyang bubuksan hanggat di namin sinasara yung ilaw. Pag sinara na po yung ilaw, pwede niyo na pong buksan yung wristband. Kasi sasabay po yung wristband sumayaw. Okay po? At may message din po yung wristband na yon. Ngayon, you can avail or pre-order at the church kiosk. Punta lamang po tayo sa lobby. Now, our aim is lahat po sana ay magkaroon ng merch bago po tayo pumunta na Araneta. Dahil pag sa Araneta po siya binili on that day, ay sobrang mahal po. Kasi kailangan po natin uh, sundan yung price po ng Araneta. By the way, lahat po ng mga proceeds po dito ay dinaragdag po sa lahat po ng gasusin sa anniversary at lahat po ng uh, up upgrade po natin sa ating po mga equipment, mga technical equipments po natin. And now, today is a special occasion because we are about to recognize the birthday of our spiritual parents, our spiritual leaders, our beloved Bishop Louis and Pastor Norma Santos. To begin, we will witness a special number from Sister Arians together with the lovely kids in church as they sing, Tell the World. Shout your praise I walk away and forget your name I stand for you, that's all I do Cause there's none that compares to you Cause all I want in this lifetime is you And all I want in this whole world 
heart and on behalf of my family, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. At sana nawa patuloy kayong uh, sumuporta sa gawain ng ating Lord. Ang Diyos po, bahala mag-bless po sa inyong lahat. God bless you. Stay put lang po kayong lahat dyan. Huwag kayong panginaan na loob. You are in the right track, church. Kaya maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sapagkat patuloy po kayong sumusporta sa gawain ng Diyos. Pagpalain po kayo. birthday, Bishop Louie and Pastor Norma. We love you and God bless you. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. So, let's bow our heads and pray. Oh, beloved Father, you're so great, you're so wonderful, you're magnificent. Thank you, Lord, for another year. Thank you for our beloved Bishop, sa lahat po ng mga ginagawa niyang pagtuturo sa amin. Thank you sa pagkat, napakaganda ng message mo. Believe the Lord and you shall be established. Believe the prophets and you shall prosper. Napakaraming time na hindi po kami naniniwala sa propeta mo, sa mga salita ng Diyos. Kaya dumaranas kami ng different kinds of trials. Please forgive us. And we are asking your holy name to bless each one. Na kami, Panginoon, ay gawin mong masunurin. Gawin mong magbilib, Panginoon, sa prophet of God. Sa pagkatalam namin na meron po kaming tagumpay pag ginawa po namin ito. Ma-overcome namin ang lahat ng mga trials namin sa buhay. And we have to consider our ways. Tulungan mo kami pagbulay-bulay namin ang aming mga gawa pang sa ganun pang anong ma-realize namin kung ano ang kulang sa amin ba't hindi namin maabot ang iyong biyaya. Salamat po na marami and we're asking your guidance, O God, and your blessing to each one, Lord. Ibuus mo masagaan ang pagpapala, Lord. Pagalingin mo po ang lahat ng mga may sakit. Tulungan mo, Panginoon, ang mga kulang sa financial. Ibuus mo masagaan ang pagpapala sa bawat isa. And Lord God, tulungan mo rin ang lahat ng mga tumanggap sa harapan, Lord. Mabautismuhan sila at lagi po silang makinig ng salita ng Diyos. Pagpalaan mo ang aming bansa, mga leaders namin, Lord, upang magawa nila ang dapat nilang gawin upang magkaroon ng kapayapaan ng aming bayan. Binabalik po namin sa iyong lahat ng kapurihan. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody say Amen. Amen. Praise God. The Lord bless and keep you and make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you and lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. God bless you and to God be the glory. A blessed day to all brethren. Let us pay attention to these important reminders. For online giving and Bible study offerings, you may refer to the details on the screen. All who will give via checks, please indicate the correct account names. Checks payable to our 39th Church Anniversary Pledge. Account name is Project G Code Ministry. Checks payable to Tights. Account name is Jesus Christ to God Be the Glory Church International Incorporated. Kung nais niyo pong magpa-schedule ng baptism or one-on-one -on -one counseling, you can call us via the contact numbers flash on the screen o mag-send ng message sa ating Facebook page. Support our church and our mission. We are delighted to share this church updates. Be filled with God's presence and be edified by God's Word at our on-site worship service at Cuneta Astrodome next Sunday at 9 a.m. Spread the news and bring your loved ones and friends. To God be the Glorians. Don't miss the exclusive topic of our Servants Force devotion entitled, The Godhead which is also a part of the OGEP 101, happening every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. via an exclusive YouTube link. Calling all businessmen and professionals. Join the upcoming ABC Refill on October 23, Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. at the Oriental Palace, Tomas Morato. Registration fee is 850 pesos per head. Please stand by for complete details on ABC's Facebook page. 
Jesus Christ to God be the glory invites you to our 39th anniversary praise and worship celebration, I Saw One. Happening on November 11, 5 p.m. at Smart Araneta Coliseum. You wouldn't want to miss this unforgettable event. Our anniversary merchandise are now up for grabs. Get your own hoodie which is available in five designs and color. Gray, green, navy blue, and cream. For 1,200 pesos, available in large, extra large, and double extra large. And color brown for 1,000 pesos, available in free size. Tote bag for only 250 pesos, available in black and white and four designs. Lead wristband for only 250 pesos, available in red, green, and blue with sound sensitivity feature. Visit our church kiosk every Sunday to avail and pre-order. As our 39th church anniversary nears, we are endowed the privilege to give our Project G-Code through our 39th anniversary pledge. You may get your preferred colored envelope, every on-site service from our faces, or at the information booth. You can also drop them at our offering boxes or hand it over to Pastor Norma Santos. We are now accepting sponsorship for our 39th anniversary celebration. You may request referral slips from the information area every Sunday. Please also contact Deaconess Michelle Salem or Sister Kate Fernandez to claim all requested sponsorship letters and to submit your filled out commitment forms. Good news! This is your chance to join the Servants Force, calling all those with God-given gift and skills. We are looking for passionate individuals who will be part of worship team, cat prod, and service operations ministries. Meanwhile, for worship team, we need vocals and bands such as electric or acoustic guitarist, bassist, keyboardist, and drummer. For cat prod, we need new addition to the C-Cube, video team, multimedia and graphic services team, audio and tech support. The service operations is also in need of Bethesdan, Gideon, and comrades. Those who want to join must have completed one of C-Books 1 and 2 as a basic requirement. Scan the QR code or fill out the ministry form found on our website or at the information area every Sunday. The Servants Force Department will get in touch with you after successfully submitting the form. Sign up now! IDO for Music is now available on Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Amazon Music, and other digital platforms. Use IDO for Songs on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Our church merchandise are up for grabs. Our very own calling card and sticker are available for purchase. We encourage you to visit our church kiosk located at the entrance to purchase. To order, you can also contact us via our Facebook page or the numbers flashed on the screen.